there is a, there is a lot of common point between this team and the team we ran last year. The main reason is there is a lot of players that were here last year. Uh, hey, my name is Nisha Abdoshi and I'm the top player for Optic Gaming. Okay, my name is Austin, last name you. In game name Gate. Kieran Logue, also known as Alorum. I guess my name is Asta. My name is Will Hartman. I go by Medios in game and I play jungle. I am Joshua Dardark Hartman and I am the Academy Jungler for Optic Gaming. Hi, I'm Minho Ri. Game name is Crown. I'm Optic Gaming's mid -rainer. Hello, my name is Big. I play support for Optic. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> you have to add that in. <laughs> <laughs> you have to add it. It's perfect. It's like hopefully. But it's very important for me that everybody keeps remains very positive about what they do. If there is always something positive out of every experience, and I think that's what uh, I try to focus the most on with the players. It's a pretty different dynamic. I'd, I've been throughout a couple teams in my career, ranging from amateur to semi-pro to fully professional. Optic so far has been really great. I think it's been a really uh, unified team. Even the players on the academy are always hanging out with the people on the LCS, which isn't always the case. When you're not at each other's throats trying to take the other person's job, you're just joined together trying to win. and. At the end, I think that makes you better players. That's my plan. I'm going to become a rapper, make a hit, go to jail, and then as soon as I'm out of jail, the rap game will be even better because everyone knows if you make a rap song and go to jail, you are instantly five times better. What'd you go to jail for, though? No, actually, in jail for anything. For anything? Go to jail anything, but say I did something else. Like, <laughs> uh, what helps too is if you make a song and then die. Yeah. That, that, that oh my God. God. I'm gonna Those make a song, but, but die, you... come back, go to jail, <laughs> go back again. Oh my God. But I think our group is a really um, high energy and really good vibes kind of group where everybody is more so. I don't want to say they're worried about having a good atmosphere, but it is like a priority. It shows a lot. We have really good camaraderie between each other, both rosters and everything. I feel that way about everyone. Like, it's not the first time that I like. I feel like a team is going well, but at least I'm I'm happy to come here every day, and it's like it's a good time. Terry, I'd say he's a pretty goofy guy, really animated. Yeah, you know, the team's in an interesting spot right now because we're having this rough time early on and now it's slowly getting better and better but sometimes I wish we had the old optic team because everyone was just chill you know we can make jokes and now it's just it's just doom and gloom so like when the fans come in you know how FlyQuest does the umbrella but when they come in like we Terry leads them to the room and Terry gives them real sensual massage that will get us fans Bodhi Bodhi massage from Terry yeah Straight from Terry. Where's the oil guy? Man, you know, Crown. This guy is really interesting. At one point he's funny, at the second point it's like you don't you don't expect him that he's a world champion being the way he is. Crown was pretty interesting to meet too for the first time. Um, I mean, I feel like if you're a world champion, you have some sort of like aura, I guess, around you that you feel like you're just that a little bit better than everyone else. But I didn't get that feeling from him him at all. And hearing his English every day is. It's really funny. I'm not saying Crown is not nice, but he's like, says a lot of vulgar things, like way more. That's just too funny <laughs> to me. I think Dokla has a pretty unique personality. I don't know what the first time was when I met him, but he didn't have like, I thought he was pretty like normal person. But now that I've gotten to know him more. I feel like I'm pretty normal person. Uh, we had some few moments, but. I mean, he is a normal person, don't get me wrong, but. Uh, I don't know, he's got so many jokes, man. I, I think I'm pretty normal. I don't know what he's talking about. He's like really quiet, but once you get to know him, he's nonstop just saying really stupid stuff. I don't know, everyone is just a goofball on this team. But well, Austin's just chill, very open, funny to be around, laughs a lot. Austin, in particular, he brings a lot of guys together because 
I don't know, Austin's just a really friendly guy. I think uh, Gabe is someone you can really easily get along with. And it's not just on this team. It's, it's been really nice working with him. I think the performance we've put up throughout the last four games, the last two weeks, has been pretty good. I like it from Optic. We'll see how it works out, of course, as the game plays on. But a very curious champ select between these two sides. Clutch versus Optic. Clutch looking to stay undefeated. Optic 1-1. One one. Would love to be positive here and take down Clutch. And uh, a spicy one to close out the day here. With, the, uh, with Crown roaming down with the ulti. There's Lyra tagged again. Dada wants the first blood. He will find it. And that's Crown in onto Huni Huni trying to get out, but Dokla makes it in first. There's a good start on the other side though, as Dokla and Ante is going to take him it. out. And Gate with a good stasis. There's the Monte, he's able to take down Crown. Gate also low, falls to Piglet. Now Dokla just trying to run away. Clutch, I think they found a fight, but at least right the ship. Monte played, does pop Zonia's Lyra, he's able to slay Gate. Also low, he's in stasis as well. It's just anarchy here in Clutch Gaming's base. But that's more than enough for Optic to push themselves to 2 1 as they drive the school bus straight into Clutch's Nexus. It's very hard to adapt when you play very late in the first day and you play very early in the second because we had last game in, in, in Saturday and second game in Sunday. The time between games is very short and the the process between wake up and game is completely different from that one day to the other. You have your ritual. Every player has a, their ritual. And of course you can adjust, but imagine you wake up, you have like seven hours to prepare and be in the zone and you do it very slowly and you just like, you know, pressure just builds up to the moment you're really prepared. And the next day it's like you wake up and you're immediately on stage. Hello and welcome back for game two, where Echo Fox will be facing off against Optic Gaming. Right, Let's take a look at the starting Urgot Nezreal surprise, basically. <laughs> north of things, and it's going to be Rangar. The yes! That is on. That is and is an ultimate, but that yeah, buys a lot. Of to be revived, but that's the ult down. So Flay brings in Dokla. He's tanky, though. He buys so much time. Finally, a kill. Hakko grabs it's it with redemption. Right and now, now Echo Fox will improve the two and two. There's nothing left. We weren't prepared for like few points in, within the draft and the fact that players didn't know what they had to do just ended up in the loss. And that's, I put er, all of this on myself. Even though players have their own responsibility, I always try to put it on myself. And I think I need to improve as a coach on how to make the same preparation, whether it's like at 6 p.m. or at, 2, at 1 p.m., even though it's completely different. Of course, people are going to ask about Medios and Dalek, especially Dalek, because he has this reputation of being toxic, but I felt like you can always discuss with the player and understand where the frustration comes from, and you can always make, like, turn this into a positive mindset. Tell them how to play the game, yeah, and I'm given something that I I've can't seen, solve. I've seen, I've seen you today a little bit more upset than usually. Because it felt, feels frustrating. Yeah, yeah I, I, understand. I, I can't. It's not, I'm trying my hardest to tell the team how we can win. Like, if there if there was a way to win the game, I would have, like, I tried my best, man. It was poor. The way that Zillion punishes Liz is by scaling for free into the game, right? Yeah. But we don't have anything to enable, yeah, or we, we don't have, have anything that Zillion like enables, right? Mm -hmm. That's why we had to yeah, force the Rengar pick at five, because we needed something to carry the zillion pick, right? But if we just have like... Next week is another week, Arrow should be back, there is a lot of things. Be proud of like winning yesterday, be proud of winning last week, it's, we are 2-2, two, two. we are pretty much okay. Once again, I want to apologize, I know it's extremely frustrating to play these games. It's on me. I take 100% of the responsibility of those. I'm sorry guys. I entered the draft today, uh, I think we had a really good plan to win, we didn't stick to our plan. It's my bad, I think overall it's a... Uh, okay-ish type of week, but we can do more, like, uh, I take it personally. It's, you can create these kind of mental blocks if you focus about the losses. So I try to immediately put it on the side and say, it's a BG, and we, we, what we need to do next week, right? What's, what's the next deadline? What's, what, what tool do we have? What player do we have? Instead of, man, we did this wrong, never again. It will happen again. 
whether you want it or not, it will happen again. So better not focus about that. Focus about what we can do to win instead of focusing on what we, why we lost. So the players moved on, I moved on, and now the goal is just next week. After a couple weeks of practicing, we realized that Arrow wouldn't have his visa for the beginning of LCS. The whole team dynamic was different without Arrow because I feel like he was such a big part of like what brought everyone together. We've been waiting for Arrow for like three weeks. I feel like he's gonna be the messiah or something. <laughs>